It's the Apple Sox against the Bellingham Bells in the first game of this three-game set, and it all gets started tonight at Paul Thomas Senior Stadium. I'm Joel Norman, and we're joined now by the reigning West Coast League Player of the Week, Carson Owen. Carson, pretty exciting news for you after a great week. You extended your hitting streak to eight games, hits in all six of those games. What was clicking for you at the plate, not just this past week, but really for most of this month so far? Uh, I think just finding pitches I like to hit, right? So anything in, uh, anything that's there for me, I'm swinging at. And I'm seeing the ball really well right now. So I'm spitting on bad pitches and swinging at good pitches, and it's causing me to you know, drive the ball to all areas of the park right now, which is really exciting. Would you say that's been your biggest adjustment to the college game? Because this is kind of your first taste of playing at the collegiate level. Yeah, I mean, it took me a while to get used to it, I think. The first couple weeks, I was struggling a little bit. But I mentioned before in a, in a prior interview, just making adjustments necessary against this better pitching. You know, a little bit harder velo, more pitching, or more pitches. And so just adjusting to that. And I've been able to make the adjustment, and now I'm killing it. So. Two home runs for you as well last week, back-to-back -back games, and those were both ones where it looked like you kind of knew those were gone right off the bat. Tell me about the feeling of getting your first two home runs of the summer out of the way. Yeah, the first one was awesome. That was my favorite swing of the year so far. I hit it, and I knew it was gone over the cages and had a little bat flip in there, which was sick, and I enjoyed that. And then did it again the next day, and it was awesome to go back-to-back -back days. And then the hits kept coming, and so I'm just still trying to stick with it. We're seeing you get a lot of walks as of late as well, and I think part of that's helped when you're batting second in the order, where you've moved up to recently. Talk to me about your approach batting second in the order, because that's a good position to get on base while also trying to move guys up or score them. It's nice because I get more at-bats up in the second spot, uh, but I'm pitched a little bit harder, so I'm getting a little bit more off-speed, you know, higher in the higher in the order. It's kind of nice batting ninth because, you know, they're just like ninth hitter fastballs, so I got a lot of fastballs there, but it's been fine. I get more at-bats, and I'm seeing the ball really well right now, so I'm glad to be in that position. Switch hitting as well. You know, there's not a lot of guys who are able to do it pretty well from both sides. You've gone far more left-handed bats at bats than right-handed. You're probably going to get some right-handed swings in though today going against the southpaw. You've hit really well against lefties. What do you attribute that success to? It's been, you know, hitting in these BP sessions before games, going out to the cages all the time and swinging right-handed even though I'm not going to be facing a lefty that day. So just working hard on it and working really hard in the cages. And that helps me from both sides of the plate. You guys took all six games to start this homestand. It continues here today with a tough opponent. What do you look back at from this weekend that you're looking to take into this series? And what are some things you guys think that you kind of need to tidy up a little bit? Obviously, you know, the hits need to keep coming. And I know they've got a, a good arm on the bump this game coming up. So just hitting the ball around the yard and then doing the right job that, you know, whatever coach says, if you need to get a bunt down, get a bunt down, uh, move runners over, and let's just keep running barrels around the yard. How dynamic has that been for you to be prepared for sometimes put down a bunt, sometimes swing for the fences? Yeah, I love uh, having that versatility. You know, I've dropped a few bunts down myself, and I can do that as well. So, you know, if I have, you know, some big home runs like I did the other day, I can drop a bunt down after that. So I really enjoy doing that too, and that's part of my game that I like doing. Well, awesome. Carson, congrats on the great week you just had. Keep it up here this week. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. That's Carson Owen, the reigning West Coast League Player of the Week winner, as he was the second Apple Sox player this season to be honored. We'll have more to come here from Paul Thomas Senior Stadium in a moment. It's the Apple Sox against the Bells at 635.